Hello, and God bless you guys, and good afternoon. Uh, my name is William Brooks. My YouTube channel is Spirit of Prophecy, and my website is eyesupandopen.org. And I um, received a prophetic message from the Lord that really I've been um, in the spirit on and working through for a few days now um, to make sure that the message I'm giving is correct with the Lord and um, it is it stands the way it is and so I'll go ahead and present it and um, take it to scripture and prayer pay attention where it says study to learn and please do those things and um, anyway I will go ahead and get going here without further talking from me so here we go to my church my body even my bride hear the words of your Lord to my church my body even my bride I ask you to lend your ears to my wisdom and hear my voice for I will now speak to you are you listening Put aside your various and sundry man-made doctrines and so-called theologies and incline your heart to Holy Scripture, even my pure word. Set aside your leavened doctrines for any admixture of the words of God, even the pure word of God, leavens the entire lump of dough, and you no longer have Scripture. For I am the word of God made flesh, and I dwell within you, and I am calling you to your home in the heavens so very soon. Put your commentaries away and quit listening to so many untruthful voices, even voices that are not mine, but instead hold my words in your hearts and compare them to Scripture, so you may have faith in my words and faith in me, Christ Jesus. For if one comes to you who speaks not the doctrine of the Lord, even the pure words of God do not even wish him Godspeed. For I will make you wise in my holy Scripture, even the word of life, and my wisdom does not corrupt. So gather your treasures together in heaven, where neither rust nor moth corrupt, and where thieves neither break up nor yet steal. For wheresoever your treasure is, there will your heart be also. My children, I am your treasure, so keep your thoughts and heart solely on me in singleness of mind. Excuse me, All right? Have you not read the words that reveal this great mystery of God? For we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellent power of it might appear to be of God and not of us. To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. So fear not, for you have been born again of my Holy Spirit. Therefore, understand that the words of my word, for I will tell you wisdom that will comfort you and keep you from strong delusion that has overtaken the world. For the world is chained for judgment and is in great fear and distress. Therefore, I have come to speak to you so I may testify to the wise among you of two world leaders who currently appear as virtuous shepherds. Even sheep, elected from among the flock to serve in civic duty, who appear to have come to shepherd the lost sheep of Mystery Babylon to safety. But these two mangy shepherds are no sheep, but they are evil beasts disguised as sheep and are from a different fold, even the shepherd dragon's very own. The shepherd dragon is not a true shepherd of the sheep, for his flock is no flock, but a host of fallen ones who have fallen from glory and have become all manner of unclean things fit for destruction. I speak of the current deception that is being used to set the stage for the rising of the unholy three. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And, there are, and these three are one. And there is an unholy three that are rising, even a great counterfeit of the three that bear record in heaven the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet, who is also a beast. And these brute beasts are made for destruction, for their future is burning fire and brimstone in that great lake of fire that burns white flames of blue in the blackness of darkness forever. I speak to their current state and present rule, for they have not been fully revealed, for the restrainer is still present. 
but I will identify them to my faithful, even those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. Understand that these deceivers work great deception even before their revealing in true empowerment, for they will be given authority from the dragon, for such is given him for a very short time and, and in a limited fashion, to test and try the earth, and to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And though the mystery of iniquity works mightily for these purposes, their revealing is not yet, but is at hand. For even now they appear as great men, benevolent men, men of valor and philanthropy, who live lives of selfless service, but do not be deceived by the mangy shepherds, for they appear clean and pure to the masses who will already wonder after them, and soon will say, Who is like unto the beast? For even now they lead astray the lost who are enchanted by their witchcraft. But for those with eyes to see and ears to hear, they appear as they truly are. For they are mangy shepherds who receive their power from the great dragon, even Satan himself. For one will rise from the sea and is currently working in secret behind the facade of a propped up old stooge for the destruction of mystery Babylon. And the other will rise from the earth and is sent falsely to those in the promised land and will be the false prophet of the synagogue of Satan, even their false messiah. For the beastly false prophet is in collusion with the beast who rules in secret, and they both work together to fully advance the mystery of iniquity that they may soon be revealed. For their times have come, though they have no kingdom as yet. Do not succumb to the delusion. For the one mangy shepherd who rules in secret puppeteers the old stooge, while the other mangy shepherd who appears persecuted by the old stooge works hand in hand with the mangy shepherd who rules in secret. For they pretend they are enemies at the present time, but they are all from the same mangy flock fulfilling the dragon's purposes. Sadly, many who think they are saved by faithlessly confessing Jesus as Lord from an unbelieving heart on lips full of unbelief, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, are enchanted by these demons, and they will deceive my very elect if possible, even the ones who ignorantly follow them. For these shepherds are not pure, and their cloaks are made of wool that is dirty and diseased. For they are mangy shepherds tending a mangy flock, and by their fruits you will know them. They are not pure and white as snow like my sheep, for I am the lamb without spot and blemish who was selected from the flock to be the perfect Passover for all time. And I cleanse my sheep in my atoning blood, and no mange is found in them. Though they claim they are sent by God Almighty, God Almighty did not send them. Though many false prophets falsely testify regarding him, I have not sent him, but the dragon has sent him. For I am the high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, and there are no other lambs but me, Christ Jesus. Salvation is in my name alone, for no other name is given amongst men, whereby men might be saved except mine, the Lord Jesus. For there is not one person whom I intend to receive my words that will not hear them. If they receive my words in faith, or if they faithlessly reject them, is a choice the Father has empowered each one to make. For God forces himself and his love on not one person. And I am coming to execute judgment upon all, and to convict all that are ungodly amongst them, of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against them. I have spoken to you in many ways, and in many works have I sent my prophets and ministers, for time is up. And so I will speak of things unconfirmed to previous generations, but are now revealed. For the times of my revealing have come. For I am about to be revealed from the heavens, even me, for I am the true Messiah, excuse me, I am the true Messiah, even Yeshua HaMashiach. And I will speak in parables to them that are without, but for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear will understand. For I will confirm it in my spirit that is created in them. I am come to speak the words that John the Revelator was given, and I will make the way plain to you if you will receive my words and humble your hearts to my voice. Behold, I speak of two coming rulers who work in tandem, and they will deceive the world and take many with them to the fires of the abyss. 
even those whose names are not written in the book of life who will follow them and will be stricken with the serpent's bite of which the world has been warned, even the mark of which no man will be healed, for the warnings are final and what God has declared is impossible to change. Even these leaders, even the mangy shepherds who currently masquerade themselves as civil servants of Mystery Babylon, for under the mangy shepherds' cloaks they wear, for each is disguised in his own way. They are ravenous beasts whose lust can never be satisfied, and they will demand all to worship them in the image of the beast and the dragon as if they are God, for they are about to be unleashed when the strainer is removed. For very soon and suddenly, when I gather my church to me in the clouds, sudden destruction will overtake the earth. For they will destroy secret Babylon, and great war will break across the land, and sudden destruction will overtake the earth. The unholy trio will rise from the ashes of the ruins and chaos left by the horsemen who are soon to be unleashed, after my bride is snatched away to me in the heavens. For only then will I open the seals of my testament, for my church is saved from the wrath to come, and I will rescue them. They will rise from the ashes of war, pestilence, famine, and great injustice, and from the deaths of many, many multitudes. They will offer peace and safety, and they will speak many lies. They will pass for the wisdom of God, and will speak many blasphemous and damnable things. And one will point to the other, and in their hand will be their solution, even their venom which cannot be undone nor forgiven for any one who gives themselves to the serpent's bites, Excuse me, the serpent's bite, forever marked will they be. But such will be the price to enter their new society, even their new order made by Satan and his angels that they foolishly make for their abominable, abominable seed. They will promise a new society, free from the death and destruction that is soon to come on the entire world, when sudden destruction comes at the gathering of my church. They seek to rekindle their golden age that God destroyed in the flood of Noah. They will offer peace, long life, freedom from disease, health and safety, and a new day will they promise. But these two mangy shepherds who appear as though they are from the flock will claim that God Almighty has sent them and the entire world will wonder after them. But they are no shepherds. I ask you, can a dragon shepherd a flock? When has a dragon ever tended the sheep except to seal their utter destruction and separation from the Father of Lights, even Yahweh. For the beast and the false prophet will receive their power from the dragon, and they are slaves to the dragon's lusts and will. At the time of their revealing, they will throw off their disguises of lowly civil servants and all the pomp, even their mangy cloaks of mangy sheepskins and their true nature, power, and purposes will be revealed. Though the world will wander after them in their ways, even, worship, even worshiping them to their own destruction, they will step on the world stage in great power, and an, and an alliance of ten kings will rule. Even now the alliance has already arrayed their host in secret for a secret attack on secret Babylon. They have already secretly set themselves to the ready, and they have surely coordinated an attack and they have openly invaded secret Babylon according to the judgment declared by God that is about to befall her, of which she shall never again rise. For her iniquities have come before the Most High, and her sins before the great throne of heaven, even before the great God. For there is none greater, and judgment has been pronounced on her. For El Shaddai even uses the, enemies, the hands of his enemies to fulfill his plans, and even his enemies obey his voice. For who can stand against God Almighty? Make no mistake, the two mangy shepherds currently are in collusion behind the image of a stooge. Yet, they have not yet been revealed to the world, and when they are, the world will wander after them and follow them to their demise. Yet, they are no sheep at all, but they are raging beasts on the inside who will soon have great power bestowed on them by the dragon. For such is given to him for a short season. For they will set themselves against and in place of the good shepherd, except those with spiritual discernment will see the mange, even the evil and utter depravity that is within them. For they are of an impure nature and are evil to the depth of their beings. You already know who they pretend to be, but you do not know who they truly are, 
and they have even given themselves fake names so the number cannot be counted. For the beast who will rise from the sea to rule the nations has already been, and appears that he now is not, but in reality is, even guiding the hands of a mindless old puppet. This is he who is named in Hebrew, using the words I spoke when I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Lightning fall from heaven, study to learn. For he does not desire women, nor regard any god. For he shall magnify himself above all. I ask you now and see whether a man does travail with child. Yet his wife appears a woman with children, though they are not his children. The beast to rise from the earth you already know, and many of you ignorantly follow, even being deceived already, when you should be preaching against the deception. For he is from the land, but if his tribe is not one person sealed of the 144,000. And of Dan he said, Dan is a lion's whelp, he shall leap from Bashan, and he is from the tribe of Dan, even proud of his bloodline, for blue blood flows in his veins. He is identified as a modern-day Cyrus and will be a temple builder, so he may bring about the abomination of desolation in his time, and presently already builds in the promised land for the synagogue of Satan. My little ones, I leave you with wisdom to ponder, and these are no longer mysteries but have been revealed in their time. Only their times will not be revealed to the world until the restrainer is removed, and it will happen much quicker than you realize. For these things are about to come to pass, and there is no more time. For the numbers have fallen from the clock face. Stay faithful in me, and when I have confirmed in your spirit their identity, convert your brethren. Behold, my appearing is nearly accomplished. I am the word of God made flesh, and I dwell within you. I am calling you to your home in the heavens so very soon. I am the Lamb without spot and blemish. I am the High Priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. I am the true Messiah, even Yeshua HaMashiach. I am coming to execute judgment upon all. I am come to speak of the words that John the Revelator was given. I am that I am, for the great I am has sent me. Behold, I, even Christ Jesus, have sent these words to my faithful. Now hear my words. Well, God bless you, and um, take these words to Scripture. Take them in prayer. Let the Lord confirm them. God bless you.